A key advisor to the president of Ukraine says between 10 and 13,000 Ukrainian soldiers have been killed in the nine month long war. It's a rare comment on figures like this and far below estimates from the West. On Wednesday, the president of the EU's executive commission said about 100,000 Ukrainian troops had been killed, but her office later corrected those comments. Meantime, the mayor of Kyiv says people should stock up on water, food and warm clothes in case of a total blackout caused by Russian airstrikes. The mayor warned that temperatures could drop rapidly and people should consider staying with friends in the outskirts of the Ukrainian capital. Joining me now is retired Major General David Frazier, CTV's military analyst and former commando of NATO forces in southern Afghanistan. Good morning, Major General. Let's go back to those numbers. Um, a senior Ukrainian official saying that somewhere between 10 and 13,000 soldiers have been killed in the war. How does that sit with you? Does that number seem high or low? Well, we've got to put this into context. Both Russia and Ukraine are playing a propaganda war. Uh, so uh, the numbers that were announced by the Ukrainians for the very first time seem awfully low, when they also indicate that they're losing about 200 soldiers a day. So uh, the, the West projections of, of losses, I think, are probably more accurate uh, than what the Ukrainians are saying. And, and uh, so... Um, I would say we're probably, you know, add a zero to those numbers of the killed and wounded. And I think that's where we, where we are with the Ukrainians. This war has been bloody. It is a, absolutely a killing machine and on both sides. And it's also because of precision guided munitions that are doing most of the most of the killing. Let's talk about the winter weather, because this is um, obviously going to take a huge toll on Ukrainians and troops. How do you think that things are going to play out this winter? It's going to be absolutely horrendous for the Ukrainian civilians. Uh, the Russians are targeting the infrastructure to make it as hard as possible to put as much pressure on the Ukrainian leadership. And we've seen that. We've seen Zelensky actually take a couple of rare shots at his own mayor of Kiev, saying that he wasn't doing enough, which is actually music to the Russian ears. Uh, and this is not what the Ukrainians should be talking about. They should be talking about, you know, the resilience and whatnot. And the West should be providing as much uh, infrastructure support as we can to turn the lights and the heat back on across Ukraine. Uh, but this is going to be a bad winter for Ukrainians. And this is exactly what the Russians are trying to do. President Joe Biden made news yesterday when he said, when asked... Uh, if he would talk to Putin and sit down and talk about the war. And he said that he would. Do you expect, uh, Major General, there to be any meaningful dialogue between the United States and Russia to end this war? In, in a word, no. But uh, diplomatically, uh, it is great to hear the President of the United States offer to talk to Putin with certain conditions. So the door is open for Putin. Uh, I don't think the president had any illusion that he was going to be able to meet with uh, Putin early, but he wants to keep those diplomatic uh, doors open so that we can find a political solution to this. Uh, but we're a long way from any meaningful talks. It's going to be a bad winter. Retired Major General David Fraser, thank you so much for being with us this morning.